In a previous video, I've shown you how to construct a loan amortization table. And what a loan amortization table does is it shows you how your payment is divided between the interest and the principal, and it shows you the balance at the end of each period. Now, what I want to show you is a couple of functions that you can use to calculate the amount of interest each period or the amount of principal paid each period without having to construct the entire loan amortization table. So let me, let me just do a quick recap here. What a loan amortization table does, again, is it shows you how a loan, in this case 200000 and the payment that you calculate, we calculate the payment with the function PMT, that's to calculate an annuity, um, is divided between interest and principal. And the way I constructed this one is I calculated the payment up here using the PMT function, and then I calculated the interest each period by taking the APR in this example of 6%. Okay, so the example here is a $200,000 loan, 30-year fixed rate mortgage, so that's 360 months, and the APR is 6% or half a percent per month. So I take the interest rate, the APR, divide it by 12 to get the monthly rate, and I multiply it by the beginning balance. And so we have $1,000 in interest. The amount of principal is $199.10 that gets paid off, and that's the payment minus the interest. The ending balance being the beginning balance minus the amount of principal that gets paid off. And if I scroll all the way down here to the end, you can see that the loan is paid off in that final payment. You can also see, if you look at this, that interest goes down over time because you have a smaller beginning balance. And of course, if the interest goes down, the amount of principal that gets paid goes up. Now, suppose you want to figure out what the interest paid or the principal paid in a particular period is, and you don't want to construct the entire loan amortization table. What you can do is you can use the IPMT function to calculate the interest each period, and the PPMT function in Excel to calculate the principal that's paid each period. So let's see if we can do that. So IPMT, and so we want to put in the rate. So I'm going to put in the rate as C dollar sign 4. I'm going to put a dollar sign in because I want to copy it. Divided by 12. The period in this case is B9. So I want to figure it out for the first period. I'm going to copy it down and we can compare the numbers. The number of periods here is in C3. And I'm going to put a dollar sign in because again I'm going to copy it down and the principal amount is in C5. Let's see, C dollar sign 5, and let's see what we get here. So we get $1,000, which is paid, which is exactly what we have here. And I can do the same thing for PMT, for the, for the payment. So P, PMT, the rate is going to be C dollar sign 4 divided by 12. The um, period is going to be B9. Again, I don't put a dollar sign in there because I'm going to copy that down and I want that to change. The number of periods is in C3 and the present value is in C5. So here I get the same number I get here and I can copy this down. Let me just copy down a few rows. We don't have to copy all of them down. And if we look, you can see I get exactly the same numbers here and here as I do here and here. If I jump down to, let's say, month 7, 993.95 and 205.15. So you could use these functions to construct your loan amortization table, or you can simply use them to figure out what the interest and the principal paid in a particular period happens to be without having to construct the entire loan amortization table.